Hello everyone. Thank you again for welcoming me into your home. It's amazing how these months just seem to fly by. I feel like I was just there doing uh, the May forecast and here we are now at the beginning of June. So um, one of the most significant things that I would like to highlight for this uh, time period now is many of us are aware of Mercury and the Mercury retrograde. Unfortunately, so many of us have uh, too many preconceived um, inaccurate notions about what Mercury retrograde is all about. When a planet goes retrograde, and in fact all the planets will go retrograde at some point, however with Mercury, uh, because it deals with the mundane um, or worldly uh, communications and connections, many of us are more aware of that retrograde period than for say um, Mars or, or, or Venus. Um, but when Mercury goes retrograde, well, as I was saying, like as when any planet goes retrograde, uh, the planet will give its appearance of moving backwards in its orbit. However, the planet doesn't necessarily stop and change directions. It's the light vibration that we observe from the Earth that comes from the, the, the particular planet, and it has to do with the reference of the planet to the Earth. And when a planet goes retrograde, the vibrations of those ener of, of that planet, um, it just they're redirected. And with with Mercury, uh, because it's the planet of the mind, we are given the opportunity to go within, to reflect, to meditate, to really review all that has been going on during our lives. You know, any of the R E words, reflect review those all are connected with mercury they are what we can do to highlight the mercury mercury retrograde period uh, mercury retrograde this time will begin on june 7th it will last through the first of july however till about um july 17th i'm not sure on those dates however you can actually see those dates specifically on my website at astrologerray.com um it's it's what's known even though mercury goes direct it's for a few weeks, it's what's known as a shadow period, and not until it reaches the point where it went direct, which astrologically it's at three degrees of Cancer, that's when we're completely out of the clear of those influences. So during that time, don't run and hide. Just take some time to meditate, reflect, and certainly wherever that retrograde is specifically falling and connecting with your chart, you can understand um, better how to use that retrograde period. For example, if it's falling in the 10th house of your chart, the 10th house is our career, our profession, um, our reputation. We perhaps could use that time to review on where we've been with our career. Also, too, we could use the time to per perhaps receive guidance as what we need to do to further our career um, so that we can get to that next place of experience with that um, area of our lives if, in fact, the Mercury retrograde does take place in the 10th house of your chart. Again, it's very, very specific to each and every one of us. Overall, I would suggest to use the time to reflect. Also, know if you are traveling, um, factor in some time for the possibility of delays. Many times, uh, especially if we're traveling by plane, you know, we can experience a uh, little bit more delays than we might not might not on another period. Also, traffic jams. Um, there could be difficulties with phone communications, misunderstandings. Just be aware of it all. The more that we can allow ourselves to be aware of all of this and also to keep ourselves um, very, very clear through meditation is how that we can go through that time with as little disruption as possible. Again, you know, all the planetary influences, they're not here to create disruption. They're here to offer us opportunities. And when we understand how to use those opportunities, we can certainly tap into the positive potentials of those energies. Uh, we also have coming up a full moon, which is on July 13th. And what is going to be highlighted with that full moon, because it's in the sign of Sagittarius, Sagittarius is the sign of the higher mind. Uh, Mercury is uh, considered the lower mind, but not necessarily um, a, a lesser vibration. The lower mind really deals with the mundane, as I said earlier, how Mercury deals with the mundane and our worldly connections. Sagittarius, the higher mind, those are our connections with spiritual inspiration. You know, so certainly during that time, let us be very aware of what spirit is sharing with us. You know, be very aware of what spirit is inspiring us to really pay attention to in our own lives so that we can be a very positive influence, you know, 
for the rest of humanity. Uh, the sign Sagittarius is also the sign of the philosopher. It's also the sign of the inspirationalist. So when we allow ourselves to pay close attention to what spirit is showing us, what spirit is inspiring us to recognize about ourselves, we can certainly be very inspirational, not only to ourselves, but all those who we come in contact with as well. We also have the summer solstice on June 21st. Um, those are significant because this, the, the, the seasons begin uh, the cardinal points. That's just um, basically the beginning of a season. Um, and it's very significant. It can be one of the most strongest times during the year, and it really sets up the next three months. Uh, because the, 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 um, the, the, the summer solstice, it's in the sign of cancer. We can certainly take that time to really pay attention to what we see to be a foundation in our lives. You know, and certainly when we recognize that we have a very strong spiritual foundation, everything else is just built upon that, and everything else just takes on a greater dynamic, especially if we can approach it from a spiritual perspective. I'm highlighting, again, the sign of cancer as I did with, with the Mercury um, energies. Also, our new moon at the end of this month um, is in the sign of cancer. And at that time, the new moon energies have a very, very, very positive influence from the planet of Neptune. Neptune is a planet of spirituality, high levels of spirituality, our psychic faculties, our connection with psychic energies, which absolutely every one of us connect with psychic energies. And with the new moon being in the sign of Cancer, Cancer being the sign which is also very closely associated with our homes. You know, I would suggest to reflect and review during that time and also create in our homes a very, very peaceful, sacred place. You know, our homes need to be our sanctuaries. It was Cahil Cabran who said that the home is the, is, is, is the larger body, which whatever takes place in our home, whatever manifests in our homes, is just a reflection of whatever is taking place within ourselves, within our families who reside in those homes. So perhaps we want to take that time to review and to really, really integrate a sense of spirituality in our homes, a sense of peacefulness, a sense that our home is very much a temple. In the days leading up to the new moon, um, we consider that to be the dark moon. That's a great time to clear and to cleanse. So perhaps if you are hoping to create something very powerful within your homes at the time of the new moon, in the time leading up to the new moon, it's a good time to just purge and cleanse everything in your home. If there, are, if there has been an over-accumulation of things which are no longer necessary, freely, lovingly, let them go. And set in motion at the time of the new moon something very, very loving, very, very peaceful um, within your home. Before the new moon, certainly burn some sage to clear out the energy, perhaps some frankincense uh, for the element of protection within the home, and just be very, very aware of creating a very, very loving dynamic within your home, and then watch how everything else in, in your life begins to change, because certainly it all takes place in our homes first. Certainly the, the, the physical body being our first homes, uh, but more so with the connections of spirit. So once again, I thank you for welcoming me into your homes, for taking this time with me. And um, before you know it, it will be the beginning of July, and we will be um, celebrating July 4th. So thank you, everyone. Be well. Keep yourself in a good place, take care of yourselves, let's take care of each other, and let's really create a sense of love that can radiate throughout all of humanity. Thank you so much. Be well.